This is a test that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. Now, most modern drivers are adjustable. I can loft mine up by one and a half degrees and make this 12 and take it all the way down and make it nine. Now, let's get down in the comments. What loft are you using? Because I bet you're using the wrong loft. I see far too many people use a lower lofted driver. So, we're gonna put this to the test and this is something that I wanna do in my golf game periodically and just see, am I optimizing my driver at the driving range. So we come down to the beaches, we're gonna set up the track man, we're gonna hit a couple of balls, maybe three or four balls at standard, then we're gonna loft it all the way up, see if it goes any further. Am I more consistent? Am I straighter? Then we're gonna loft it all the way down to nine degrees and see what difference it has there. This is an interesting test. This is my current driver, and by the way, guys, on the channel will be my full fitting video for my brand new driver, which I'm insanely excited about. The Aerojet looks so nice, that sort of blue and red look. Okay, without further ado, let's put it to the test. We're gonna start this test on what I currently have my driver set at. 10 and a half degrees, just standard. Bit boring, really. Nothing fancy about it at all. Okay, here we go, three balls away. Let's see what distances we get. I'm anticipating totals around 290-ish. Apart from being off balance, that was a mega, mega hit. First one away, 287, not a bad start. Remember, this is set on standard. I need to aim a bit for the left, like the trap man's actually aiming in that direction. So I'm gonna aim a little bit for the left so it doesn't like I hit this big high carted right shot. Okay, ball two. The results are in, 291.6, that set the bar. We're now gonna go and add one and a half degrees to this, loft it up to 12. Here we go. Right, driver's now lofted up. Now, one thing that happens when you do loft it up on most adjustable drivers, some brands have sort of negated this, but most of them, and you loft up, it sort of closes the face, only a little bit of a touch. And what we should see happen is, because you've got more loft on the club at address, you should bring a little bit more loft into the ball at impact, create a little bit more spin, and that makes the driver a little bit more forgiving. But the theory is you should potentially sacrifice some yards. And this is what's interesting. Will I hit it straighter, but will I still hit it as far? Right, put it to the test. It's set 10 and a half plus 1.5. I'm interested. I really, I really don't know what's gonna happen here for my game. A little bit of a heel that. That was ripped, but really high. <laughs> 281, 295, noticeably a lot higher. You can see it sort of peaking a lot higher. Now, into the wind, I would be a little bit apprehensive on how far that's gonna go. And I really don't like how that driver looks a little bit closed at address. That is honestly my biggest pet hate. Right, final ball here, then we've got the averages. Boom. Boom, baby. Boom. Numbers are in. That last one was absolutely ripped, by the way. 302 in that last one. Average of 292.6. Now, one thing I'm going to say is personal preference. I hate seeing the ball go that high. If I was playing like flat, calm conditions out in America, then 100% that would be like the perfect ball flight. Here in the UK, Parkland golf courses, you feel, I don't know. I personally like to see it a little bit flatter. Now, this is the point of the video that I'm really excited about lowering it because we all think of lowering it as getting it to go a lot further because it's a flatter face now potentially potentially it might but we will sacrifice some forgiveness so the bit of sciencey bit behind this is when you hit the driver there's something called spin loft that's the difference between your angle of attack and how much loft you have on the face so the bigger that difference and essentially adding loft, the more spin you create. The closer this is, the less spin you create, and then potential, you're trying to find the optimum amount of spin to get the ball to carry the furthest and roll out the furthest. And well, like I say, at the start, I had mine set on standard, and this is the part of the video I've been waiting for. Let's lower this to nine degrees. Now, when you take loft off your driver, this makes the face a lot flatter. And on my driver, it tends to make the face look a little bit open. Now, as good players, a lot of good players like to see that because we hate having that club face pointed left. And I just call myself a good player. I sounded very big headed of myself, didn't I? I didn't mean it to be like that. Not throwing myself in that category. Okay, here we go. This is, I'm very, very interested to see this. Very, very important. 
292, that first one. Okay, let's hit the final two. Fading it loads more. Right, I'm gonna say, first thing I'm gonna say is, that was so much more fady. I was like, banana in it everywhere. So I'm gonna say, first off, I mean, this one's gone on average out of the three, 292.3, which puts this in second. The longest was the most loft, which might actually surprise a lot of you. Like, and it didn't, it probably surprised me for my game that that was longer. I mean, we're only talking one yard, but in order here, shortest, my standard one that I use, 291.6, then the lower lofted driver at 292.3, and the highest lofted part of the driver at 292.6. But in order of what I feel comfortable, with only the fact there's one yard of difference, it has to keep it on standard for me. But I think this is something that you should be doing periodically and just seeing. It is the most important part is though, what you bring into impact, what you feel consistent, what gives you the control. I definitely feel maybe if I went to play in America one day, loft it up, hit the high bombs away on a quiet, calm day, that would be something that I would think about now in my game, but I'm definitely not gonna be going low lofted. No, 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 no. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell to never miss any of our uploads.